What's going on my dudes? One Step here with the ultimate beginner's guide to Reiko in Mortal Kombat 1. Giving you some tips and tricks to be aware of, some best strategies to put in place, and of course, some fun and easy combos that you can learn today. Take it one step at a time. Subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat content. And go ahead and pause your screen right here because this is gonna be the universal language that we're gonna be using so that everybody who's watching can understand what we're saying. Reiko is an absolute menace on the field. And I'll tell you right now, he excels at close range combat. He is a true grappler. Cause he has a grapple attack down back four to one. That's a true command grab. Meaning if your opponent's blocking that, it'll still hit. You can also enhance it for more damage. It does take two bars to enhance it, keep that in mind. But sometimes in combos, it might be worth it. He can do stuff from far away. He's got projectile back forward too. Kind of covers butt if he is far away and your opponent wants to zone you out. And then he's got almost a full screen slide back forward three. If you're full full screen, it won't hit. But if you just take one step forward, it'll connect. Plus if you enhance your back forward three slide, it does allow for combos. To go over the bread and butter moves with Reiko, let's go ahead and start with his overheads. He doesn't have a ton of options, unfortunately. He kind of relies on the slide here for the combos. We just went over the back forward three slide. But if your opponent's gonna expect that you can do your forward two, and that's an overhead. And the cool thing about that, it's 90 damage for a single hit. So if you see your opponent block on low a lot, because they expect your slide again, forward two, and just really throw them off guard. Now for lows, again, you have your back forward three slide. By itself, not too bad, but again, you wanna enhance it for the combo extension. You do have two one four as a combo string that ends in a low. Another way to throw your opponent off guard if they're expecting a high. So let's go over your bread and butter combo starters with Reiko. First, you have your four to one, two, four. As you see, that pops your opponent in the air for air combos. And I'm gonna be real with you. Reiko only has two real options. Your one, two, one, and then your two, one, four. And following that, Reiko has zero air specials. So you're not gonna follow those up with air specials at all and neither one of those bounce your opponent back up from the ground to continue the ground combo so they're more or less just simple air combos that kind of just end so if we do four to one two four i'll show you the air combos in the air first we're going to do two one four in the air you see there kind of just throws our opponent down now that combo by itself is 250 damage so it's not bad for a simple quick combo especially if you have no bars and you just want to get in there you can jump up and do two one four Again, 250, not bad. And then we have one, two, one in the air. And it does the same exact amount of damage and you cannot continue. I can't find a way to continue after that. Here, I'll try to do it. I'll show you guys the slide and we're just not gonna hit it. So because both those air combos do the exact same amount of damage and they're followed up by your forward one, two, four combo, it's more or less, they don't really matter which one you're gonna do because they both knock your opponent back down for a hard knockdown, allowing you the pressure, which can be useful in some situations, but I found a lot of ways to combo off of your forward one, two, four here that do more damage. So simply put, Reiko is a very grounded character. He doesn't want to go in the air that much like some characters might. I mean, to be fair, he is a grappler, so he's kind of following the grappler archetype and just really wanting to be in your opponent's face. So to go back to our combo starters again, we have four to one, two, four. Keep in mind your four to one, two can cancel into your enhanced slide maybe. So you can go four to one, two, back four, three, enhance, and then continue it. You got four, three, and that allows for combo extensions as well. You can finish it with four, three, four. And one of your staple combo enders is gonna be your down back three. Just a great way to end combos. If you enhance it, you actually do more damage and you get armor. So it's also a great wake up attack as well. So I'll show you four, three, four, down back three. You catch them before they land continuing the combo and doing decent damage. Your kicks are really good. Your four, your three. As you see, we kind of have a red shadow of kind of extending our kicks there. So Reiko's got really good kicks. In fact, your back three is really good. It's got good reach and it cancels into combos. Again, your best wake up attacks are gonna be your down back three enhanced because you get the armor on it. But also a good wake up option is a special attack we haven't talked about yet. Your down back one, that is a parry attack. So if your opponent might, you know, pressure you while you're down, you wake up with that, you're gonna parry them. And here's how that looks. You do a quick 90 damage just for them hitting you. And if you enhance it, you actually stun your opponent, allowing you to combo extend. So it's a great way to wake up, catch your opponent off guard, maybe meet or burn and get the combo off, or just punish them for trying to press you while you're down. Either way, you got some great wake up attack options. So you can kind of see how Reiko is already wanting to play. He's a grappler. He's a true grappler. He wants to be in your opponent's face. He wants to put that pressure on the field. He wants to punish your opponent for trying to get in there and then just do some crazy stuff. Now, a quick side note about your slide here, your back forward three. 
Just so you know, during that, you can hold up or back, and that changes the property of it to a knee hit that pops up for a combo extension without using any meter. So it's been great to use inside of combos, but it takes a second to get used to holding up or back during that slide. But here's how it might look. You gotta decide, do you wanna go high or low with your slide? Depending on what kind of combo route you wanna go with. Again, you got projectile to pressure your opponent, slide in, you got a parry if you need it. Reiko on the surface is pretty dang simple. He's a grappler character of awesome pressure, good damage, fun yet simple special moves, not too gimmicky and not too crazy. But you can do some awesome stuff with him with enough practice. With that being said, let's go ahead and get into some fun and easy combos to get you started today. Guys, let me know what you think of Reiko down below in the comments. Do you like him? Do you hate him? Subscribe here for more fighting game content and take it one step at a time.